Thursday afternoon, I am doing phenomenal. Thank you very much for asking. I know you were all going to ask. Uh, but uh, I'm doing fabulous. Two workouts in already today. Ate a little bit of pork just a minute ago. And feeling very good, very lean, very strong, very, 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 very healthy. Uh, slept like a fucking rock last night. And hope to sleep like a fucking rock again tonight. And then Crystal and I... Uh, on Saturday are going to do about nothing. I'm hoping to get a nice pool day in for some stress relief. So for those of all the, of you that are here just because you hate me, just know that my life kind of fucking rocks. And I hope that fucking bothers the shit out of you. Uh, but <clears throat> for everybody else, it's just a normal week for me. But I wanted to remind everybody that uh, Alchemy should be live in five days. I'm so very, 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 very excited uh, it'll be $41.99 on the Ambrosia Collective website. It'll take a little bit to get to uh, tigerfitness.com. So if you want it from overseas, there should, there should be some arriving there. It will probably sell out in the first couple hours, and it'll take like another week or two to get to to get back in stock. Well, hopefully we'll be back in stock again by the end of the month. Um, so, But if you want to get it, like get it at the first run, make sure the 15th you're ready to go. Uh, we'll be doing a whole live about the launch and everything like that. Um, we have a world to save and between no morbidity and this, uh, this new supplement alchemy, it pretty much for me, at least personally, and like scientific, like with the studies about these kind of removes your physical hunger and cravings. And if you have PCOS, sugar addiction, uh, insulin resistance of any kind, uh, alchemy is something you should have in your life. It's just an amazing supplement, but uh, beyond that, I just hope everybody's having a good day. I want to say hi to everybody really quickly. And then we're going to talk about how, um, society has just got to stop normalizing weak fucking people. Like, like we need to actually normalize strength, you know, like, uh, you know, good physical health, strong, physically healthy and strong mentally, because we just like parade around people that are like, just mentally and physically just fucking weak. And you know what? You have a right to exist too if you're mentally and physically fucking weak, but we absolutely shouldn't make accommodation for you because you choose to be fucking physically weak. Uh, it, it's We've reached this tipping point where it's like, everybody's selling their fucking feelings. Fuck your feelings. Who fucking cares if something hurts your fucking feelings? We're about to watch three clips from some fucking podcast with a bunch of fucking young people who are fucking delusionally weak, just delusionally weak people. Uh, and I don't know, I, I might do a thing on the rest of the podcast, but these came across my TikTok this morning. And I'm just kind of blown away with how pathetic these fucking people are that we're about to, we're about to discuss today. I mean, pathetic, like horribly just weak, you know, like if shit goes down, which by the way, if you're not prepared, like, to all the uh, other people that think that they're strong and they're not going to take shit, I see a lot of people fucking talking like they're ready for like shit to go down and they'll stand their ground against anybody, including their own government. Uh, you motherfuckers should start training like you would, because I'll tell you this right now, a whole bunch of people fucking talking about it look like they can barely walk a mile. So uh, weakness is not just in, uh, in the far left. It is very much in the far right, too. And I'm just, we got to stop. I mean, we got to stop with the words. Like, you you cannot just talk about it. You have got to be about it. Like, train like you are ready to, like, protect your freedom. Because you should be. Um, Betsy, how are you doing? Angel, how are you? Lori, how are you? Uh, Rocky, what's up, motherfucker? Um... Desert Fox, how are you doing? The weaker the population, the easier it is to control and instill fear. Absolutely. 100%. Elizabeth Slashikin, uh, Esmeralda. Interesting name. Little monster, what's going on? Savar, how you doing, my motherfucker? Jess, Denise, Lisa, Tigger, Nick, what's going on? Hannah, how are you? I uh, love this community. We just have, start, uh, have to start to say that, but it puts a smile on my face. Talk to y'all and Alan, it makes me laugh. Thank you. I appreciate it. Janet, how are you? Cookies, what's going on, Cactus Patch? Uh, Fuji Denzo Kid? Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting name. Chat Batman, what's going on, Shy? How are you, Fox Fox? Eloise, Anna, uh, Kimberly, uh, everybody. Laura, Laura, SS, Ranger, 
How's everybody fucking doing? Rob, Emily R, Horse and Rider Wellness, everybody. We got a lot of fucking people here, which is good, which is good. So I'm going to get started because this is a lot to fucking unpack. And I'm going to be stopping the video every fucking two seconds. I'm just just making it aware. So this is one of the first. Like, actually, let's do this one first. A controversial take, but I look at the roundness. Okay. I'm not saying she shouldn't be able to have an opinion, but I mean, th this this is a young person who have, has gluttoned herself to a very serious negative physical state of being that is societally burdening. Reality exists. I don't think that the majority of fat people, until you learn about body liberation and body positivity, no one would choose to continue to be fat in a world where they absolutely hate fat people. People. Okay, so a couple things. One, why would anybody choose, even after they learn about body liberation and body positivity, to stay fucking fat? Like, if body liberation and body positivity was going to get people to, like, want to stay fat, it's... By definition, which it does, it absolutely does, uh, which is by definition fucking bad for the person. It's a death cult. Look at this woman's face. It looks like a parody. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this, this looks like something that you would see in like an 80s movies. You know, like, th that's the fucking, it's, it's, look, she, this woman is talking seriously, like, seriously about how until you learn properly, you might not want to be fat because society hates fat people. Society hates what you're doing to yourself. And I'm sure there's some people that just absolutely hate fat people. But frankly, the biggest problems are you're hurting yourself and you're hurting society. Unquestionably. You are unquestionably hurting society. Without, I mean, I could argue 25 different points that have, that are factual and realistic and logical and common sense. It is not an argument you know but this woman who i mean for, i'm not saying again i'm not saying she should not be able to have an opinion but what i'm saying is are you kidding me like you're gonna add you're gonna advocate for people to like that you know if you learn fat liberation you should stay fat get the fuck out of here that's crazy shit think that I'm glorifying obesity by spreading this mm. the word and like telling everybody about this information I trust me I wouldn't recommend anybody be fat in this world it is horrible mm. it is so traumatizing oh it's so traumatizing you, you know why it's horrible it's because it's fucking killing you it's literally because it's killing you that's why it's horrible it's killing the planet you're using more resources than you fucking need to you're killing the planet. You're ki like you're using up resources that could be going to other like feed hungry people. That's the truth. I mean, supply and demand is how the econ the economy works, kind of, sort of, because there's subsidies and everything like that. But if fat people, every fat person in America, started eating like whole foods at their caloric level, um, the price of food would fucking seriously drop. It would seriously drop because demand would seriously drop for food. Therefore, there would be more supply and then they would fucking drop the fucking price to keep selling. It's reality. I mean, it, it's it's how shit works. Like obese people drive up the cost of damn near fucking everything. I mean, damn near fucking everything. It is so isolating. People are evil they are cruel strangers think it's okay to tell you on the bus mm -hmm. you're fat you should lose weight you're just good because everybody should tell people like this woman is blimp size everybody should be letting her know she should lose weight for her own good uh uh you're you're just like i'm not saying people should be like oh you're disgusting and this and that because that's that's you know that's their right to say that shit but that's not fruitful but encouraging any fat person you know to lose weight is also protecting your fucking freedom. It is. 100%. We closed down the fucking country for fat people like this. We really did. And she's going to sit here on a microphone and claim that she is some sort of fucking, uh, some sort of fucking, like, uh, 
you know, marginalized group. It's patheticness. Disgusting. Like, it's nonstop. And that leads to people. It is not nonstop. I mean, for fuck's sake, it is almost like the mainstream media is literally fucking pushing it. So it is not nonstop. Like, over 50% of the population is fat. Over, like, almost 80% of the population is overweight. So shut the fuck up. Isolating themselves and, like, seeking comfort through food. You are seeking comfort through food for whatever the fuck you got going on. That's why you fat already. Like, that's a you problem. You shouldn't seek comfort through, through food. Get, get your shit straight. Here's another one from the same fucking podcast. Ridiculous shit. The lowest weight that I've ever been and you go out in society, that's when you realize, holy fuck. The world is built so different for thin people. Like I'm it's yes, because it's built for healthy people, healthier people. Because just because you're thin does not mean you're healthy, but when you're fat, you are unhealthy. A hundred percent of the time. Because gravity exists. And the reality of the amount of blood your left ventricle can pump out into your fucking body at any given fucking pulse in its injection fracture. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, of course, it's, you know, society as we evolved will always be made for people that can actually be physically capable. We should not, I mean, we should not fucking go. We should not fucking do extra. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm at the bar. So many people are talking to me and noticing me. Like, I feel like it's a whole new world that I'm experiencing. And so now we're going to complain that people found you more attractive when you lost some fucking weight. Are you serious? That to me is like the most hurtful, sad thing is it's hurtful and sad that you lost weight and then people are fucking more attracted to you. That's hurtful and sad. What the fuck is wrong with this generation? What the fuck is wrong with these weak ass fucking people? This is weakness. Like you're complaining about improvement. Like you're you're viewing it like oh it's so sad these people didn't like me when you when I was fat it's because you were fat it's not physically you know it, people do people know we know that when you're fat you ain't gonna live a long time when people like seek out mates it's normally that they want to seek somebody out that's going to be healthy with them we know this no matter how much you motherfuckers try to deny it we know this one hundred fucking percent. That is, I'm sorry, but like morbidly obese is never going to be a, a, attractive except for what social media tries to make of it and fetishes. It's just not. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous to think that like this woman is sad because she's getting hit on more often. Shut the fuck up. You virtue signaling piece of shit the way that us as a society portray fat people and yeah. like in our own minds and the way we treat each other based on our bodies i think and it's really unconscious sucks. bias too i personally haven't really had the experience of like losing you know a certain amount of weight and like no shit experiencing life with that privilege yeah. but i have with that privilege she hasn't lost weight and had the privilege of not being a fucking rotund fatty um that's not really a fucking privilege you are just having obese consequences. And I'm sorry if you've been fat the entirety of your life. That means your parents fucking suck, by the way. Um, but very frankly, it is not fucking privilege. People taking personal responsibility, watching what they eat, getting some exercise, getting proper hydration, proper sleep, proper stress relief. That is not privilege. Like that is them actually working for it. You realize this. For some people, it's much easier than other people. Some people have to work a lot harder to be in physically good condition. But holy fuck. You want to talk about privilege? You fucking glutton your goddamn self to fucking stay puffed marshmallow fucking size. And now you're going to fucking talk about how that's not privilege. That's privilege. To have access to that much food where you can be this fucking fat, that is privilege. And then to sit and bitch about it that you fucking think that you're being mistreated because you are, in fact, using more resources, causing more societal burden than if you were fucking thin, that's privilege also.
there's no fucking thin privilege. There is obese privilege in our society. And we fucking, we destroyed the fucking economy in 2020 to protect elderly people and fat people. Reality exists. People that mistreated their bodies, most of the people with chronic illnesses, with comorbidities that are immunocompromised, do it because of their lifestyle. That's, they're that way because of their lifestyle. Like this fat ass person. And she's, we, all, we fucked up an entire generation of children, masking them when they were fucking in their developmental uh, stages. We fucked up an entire fucking, uh, you know, the economy that was fucking booming at the fucking time. We trashed that shit. And we fucking put a wedge in society like no fucking other to protect elderly people and people like her. Reality exists. I can, I'll debate it with anybody. Because I, people on my fucking Twitter today were saying how, well, you know, what about immunocompromised people? Because I said, if it all happened again, would you still mask up? Would you still fucking lock down? And would you still fucking take another jibby jab? And people are like, well, to protect the immunocompromised, they, they have a right to move around. And they, they, have, they, have, they have a right to, you know, be able to go around society and not get infected by disease. No, they fucking don't. That's not how society works. Communicable diseases have been with us the entirety of our fucking life. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane to fucking think that in some way that this is not privilege. This is privilege. Privilege. Being called out on your fucking privilege of gluttoning yourself on a daily basis and then disproportionately increasing our health care costs while also then complaining that the world's not fit for you. The world's not made for you. No fuck because you're twice what you should be. The, the world's not made for you because you are not made for life. You are hurting yourself. How you fucking eat. You are literally hurting yourself every fucking day. The world's not made for you because you are not a healthy person in your action and in how you fucking uh, and in how you fucking are. I mean, what the fuck? It's just reality. So fucking sad that these people don't fucking understand this shit. For real. I mean, it's really fucking bad. Really fucking bad. All right, we're going to keep going. I've watched a lot of people on the internet talk about that and how it's like one of the biggest heartbreaks of their lives because it really confirms what they thought to mm. be true. And like the difference of especially men treat them so differently and like yeah. people open the door for you and like things happen for you. And mm -hmm. I believe it. Like I know that to be true. Yeah. And then and do something about it. I mean, frankly, I try to open doors for everybody, but especially elderly people and my wife. But... What the fuck? Then do something about it. It's not privilege. You you are you like when you exhibit try to exhibit privilege over society by being greedy on how you eat. You get what you get. And I, I gained all the way back and then it goes away. And that's a part of it that does also feel heartbreaking because to me, it's like, oh, it's heartbreaking. Way. You weak piece of shit. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Oh, my God. It's so heartbreaking. Shut the fuck up. Like, th these people are so fucking sheltered in society, it's insane. Wasn't a natural weight for me at all. Yeah, yes, it was. Not being fat, not being fat is a natural weight. Being fat is an unnatural state. It is overconsumption. 100% of the time, it is overconsumption. And this is also a good one. Lies fat people existing in every space yeah. in every space we need to normalize fat people existing in every space uh nba um uh, uh marathon runners like there there are some fat marathon runners but it's very fucking far and few between and they normally end up very it normally ends up very badly for them very 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 badly for them uh normalize them i don't know in uh in what ways firemen uh, i'd rather not police officers i'd rather not I'd actually want them to do their job. Our military, I'd rather not. I I don't want some fucking soft-ass, weak-ass, fucking fluffy motherfucker in the military. I want a motherfucker that might accidentally eat his fingers with his fucking food to be in our military. Some fucking savage that was will, willing to destroy our motherfucking enemies that is physically and emotionally capable 
of raining down fucking violence upon our fucking enemies for an extended period of time in a impressive fashion. That's what I want in our military. I don't want fat fucks in our military. You want to represent like so they need represented there. How about this? How about not even in medicine? Like doc, if your doctor looks like they're about to fucking die because they're fat as fuck, get a new fucking doctor. What the fuck's wrong with you people? We need representation every year. Why? Why? Why do we need? Why do fat people need represented? It's an unhealthy state. This is like saying crackheads need representation in every fucking area. And people are like, oh my god, you just compared fat people to crackheads. Yes, I did. Because most morbidly obese people that have been morbidly obese for the entirety of their life are addicted to some sort of fucking food. There is addiction to it. And I understand people are like, well, that makes more people would be like, that's more of an argument to, to coddle them. No, we do not coddle alcoholics. We do not coddle fucking meth heads. We they like get your shit together or go to fucking jail and die. That's what we do with them. Like, we do not fucking coddle addicts by any stretch of the imagination. But we'll coddle fat people? Fuck that. I mean, fuck that. Of course, of course, there is a correlation between alcohol, like, you know, not coddling alcoholics means we should not coddle fat people. Period. Representation in every facet of society. And why do all these, these, all these, it's just, they all look so stupid, too. I just can't stand it. Possible, right? Especially places like the gym. I think that. I do think that every fat person should go to the fucking gym. I really do. What she's about about to say here doesn't actually fucking happen. That we glorify people who are like super ripped and jacked and like all the stuff that they're able to do. But it we should. We should glorify people that are super ripped, jacked, and fit and athletic. I'm sorry that the if that because I'm actually jacked and athletic, but this is what should be glorified. This is what should be like looked to as the fucking like as the goal. OK, like that's the thing. People don't see somebody else and set their goals anymore. They see somebody else and be like, oh, they make me feel bad by being ripped and jacked and fucking athletic because I'm fat as fuck. And I eat pizza every goddamn day because you can't tell me this woman doesn't fucking eat a ton of pizza. I refuse to believe so. But holy fuck, like, uh, we should be glorifying people that are in shape and take good care of their bodies and fucking are going to live a long time and stay off of as much pharma as fucking possible. We should be glorifying that. I mean, these people work for this. They work for it. I just got done with like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes worth of very seriously intense physical activity. I ate like pork and now I'm going to fucking, uh, you know, probably have some steak later. And that's going to be in the entirety of my fucking food. Maybe some veggies. Like I work at this shit. Every goddamn day I work at this shit. And I'm sorry. You stuffing your face with fucking pizza and McDonald's and fucking sitting on your ass because I can tell you this. They're about to talk about, you know, the gym shit. She doesn't go to the gym. She's not even a fucking athletic looking fatty. She's a very big fat woman. Soft like a fucking marshmallow. But somehow or another, we're supposed to glorify you. We're supposed to praise you up. And the hard work that other people like me put in, that's that should just be looked past. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, you think you're better than them? I am. I'll say it. Nobody else will say it. I am better than the fat me that I used to be. That's for fucking sure. I used to weigh 100 pounds more than this. And me now, I'm way better than that fat ass motherfucker. I am way, way, way better than him. As a matter of fact, let's visit him. Let's visit his ass. Give me one second. Just for reference, just so people can see. Give me one more second. Here I am in all my fatness, right fucking here. I, right now, Alan Roberts, me, with better tattoos than that motherfucker too. Um, I am way better than that motherfucker. Way better. Way fucking better. I'm a better fucking father. I'm a better fucking husband. I'm a better fucking person. I am better for myself. I'm better for society. I'm way fucking better than him. You know why? Because I tried harder than him. That's why. 
I tried much fucking harder than him to be a good father, a good husband, set a good example for my family to fucking help be here for the long run for my fucking family. I'm way better than that motherfucker. Way better than that motherfucker. Every goddamn day. Every damn day I'm better than that motherfucker. Every damn day. I guarantee fucking tee it. And if you don't like me saying that, I don't give a fuck because it is absolutely true and you know it's fucking true. And for those people that say that you just can't lose weight and 95% of diets, blah, 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 100 pounds from here to there. 100 pounds gone. Arm size, damn near the fucking same. For real. So anybody that's trying to fucking minimize that bullshit, fuck off. Because I am telling you right now, a person that tries hard to maintain their health maintain their physicality, maintain their athleticism, maintain their proper, uh, like uh, in a good weight range, they are better than fat people. Absolutely. A hundred percent of the fucking time. I am better than that motherfucker. I am better than him. A hundred percent. I am way fucking better than him. I'm smarter because I can think more clearly because I'm not in a chronic state of inflammation. I sleep better. I fucking eat better. I feel better. I enjoy myself more. I am fucking way better than that motherfucker. Way fucking better than that fat fuck right there. Way better. Way better. And one more time, my tattoos are better. Just saying. Way fucking better. So we were talking. Uh, where, where were we at? We were at this one. Like, yes, that takes a lot of hard work. Of course, absolutely. You got there. Look at all your skills. Good for you. Look at all your skills. Tell me you don't work out without telling me you don't work out. Tell me all your, you got to look at your skills. You're amazing. But when you're in a bigger body, do you know? You're not in a bigger body. You have eaten your body big. You are not in a bigger body. You are not in a bigger body. You are fat as fuck. You're fat. I mean, that's, that's the long and short of it. You're not in a bigger body. You're not like, it, it is, it is not like you lost the fucking lottery and ended up in a bigger, oh shit, I ended up in a bigger body. No, 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 no. You did that shit to yourself. You're not in a bigger body. I fucking can't stand that shit. Talk about trying to fucking not fucking take responsibility. Again, it's just normalization of weakness. All, all three of these fucking women are weak as fuck. Like weak as fuck. Mothers out there, dads out there, if you've got an adult son, make sure they don't fucking have a child with one of these motherfuckers. For real. I mean, the one's probably not capable of actually having children. And I know people are like, oh my God, he said that about the fat woman. You're right. She's probably not capable of having children. That's how fat she is. Reality exists. What the fuck do you want from me? Reality exists. You know how much extra work it takes to do half of the shit, mental as well, not just physical. That's what I want to say right? too, like just getting into that space. Yeah. You deserve like yes. an award. This you deserve an award for just going to the gym if you're fat. No the fuck you don't. No the fuck you don't. You know what your reward is? Your reward, if you go every day and you watch what you eat, you will no longer be fucking fat. You will no longer be a fucking burden upon society. You deserve an award for showing the fuck up the talk about fucking weakness. You deserve an award. This is the hypocrisy of fat phobia that drives me off the rails. Is that you? You're already off the rails. You are just hated for being fat, period. You yeah. cannot win. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we coddle the fuck out of you motherfuckers. We coddle the fuck out of you people. Like that woman's so big, she shouldn't be allowed to fucking fly. She's a danger to everybody, other, every other passenger on board. Reality exists. Reality exists. Like we coddle the fuck out of fucking fat people. We absolutely do. We coddle the fuck out of fat, fat people. It's, it's ridiculous. The coddling is why they're getting fatter. Like I said this years ago, we are going to literally politically correct ourselves out of fucking existence here. We are fucking so fucking weak right now. It is kind of fucking pathetic. And people actually will say that they are doing this to you to make you come to and lose the weight. But what? Good. Everybody should like lose weight, fatty. I mean, what the fuck? 
Like if I ask you nicely a hundred times, I offer tons of fucking tips and tons of fucking help. And then you still there like, well, you don't understand bigger body. Shut the fuck up and lose fucking weight. You are a burden upon us. I want to do what's right for you. I want to help you lose weight so you don't fucking die early because that's an elderly woman right there. She's probably in her 20s. She's elderly, literally elderly, because if she continues to be that fucking big, she is not going to see my age. So for her lifespan, she is elderly already. She's way, she's way more, if she's in her mid-20s, she's way past half her fucking life, lifespan likely. And that's the problem. She is that fucking big. Okay, and she's going to sit here and pretend that she's somehow marginalized. You take up the entire fucking margin. They got to pan out the fucking get you and see all of you. They have to like fucking pull the camera back. And you're going to pretend like somebody calling you fat is a problem. You're a societal burden. The state of public health, get there faster. The state of public health is what allowed our government to take freedoms away from people. Reality exists. People are like, oh my God, we got so many immunocompromised people. We should lock down. Fuck that shit. If you are scared, stay the fuck home. And if you are immuno, like, there shouldn't even be fat people anymore. If our public health officials would have done their job in 2020, they would have done everything possible to encourage every fucking human being in the United States to get as healthy as fucking possible. To Because when you're healthy, guess what's not super dangerous to you? Colds. they're actually doing is keeping you fat making you more fat if that nobody's making you more fat and nobody's keeping you fat but you and the ho-hos no nobody nobody's making you more fat nobody can make you more fat nobody can keep you fat or make you fat but you take personal responsibility for the fucking gluttony that is on a daily basis that leads to that face she looks like she's wearing a fucking mma glove that I'm sorry, like you, nobody is doing that to you, but you, you are doing that to you. Nobody, nobody calling you fat is making you stay fat or make you fatter. Nobody saying lose weight fatty is fucking causing you to stay fat or lose or gain weight. Nobody, nobody is, nobody is really actually making you lose weight because we do not have enough societal pressure on fat people to in fact lose weight. We coddle them. We coddle them even though they are a burden upon us. And they are, in fact, a burden. Reality exists. Phobics actually cared about our health and our well-being. They would be doing what you're saying. They'd be celebrating us. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, celebrating fat people. That has helped so much. Uh, so if we really cared about your health, we would be celebrating you. Celebrating you? Like, should I celebrate the fucking crackhead down at the fucking corner? Should we celebrate that motherfucker too? Should we celebrate the fucking alcoholic that's going to be at the bar at fucking 10 in the morning the second it fucking opens up every single fucking day until they kick him the fuck out? Should we celebrate that shit? Should we celebrate somebody smoking so much that they literally fucking have to have a fucking hole put in their fucking throat and then they continue to smoke through the fucking hole? Should we celebrate that shit too? What the fuck is wrong with you? We should be celebrating fat people. We should celebrate how you are a disproportionate burden upon our entire fucking society's resources, economy, and fucking planet. We should celebrate that shit. We should fucking encourage you more. What the fuck? As if you're not going to get fatter from being celebrated. Shut the fuck up. But what they do is they make fun of us at the gym. Yeah. I have never seen that happen. I have never seen that happen. Never, ever, ever seen a, f a fat person made fun of at the gym. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Do you know what I see all the time? Everybody making fun of just about every fucking body. Or people minding their own business. Do you know how, I mean, for real, I didn't get made, when I was that fat fuck that we saw just a little bit ago, nobody said shit to me about my fucking weight. For real, nobody said shit to me about my weight. Nobody called me fat. Nobody, I called me fat. Nobody called me fat. Like, for real, maybe one or two, one or two YouTube comments. That was it. People talk about my appearance way the fuck more. I have probably had more insults about my fucking neck veins than I did about being fat. No shit. Because I'm fucking, like, when I get lean, I have a lot of fucking neck veins. I don't see that. I mean, I don't see that. I, I can guarantee you who else doesn't see it. Her, because she's probably never been to a fucking gym. Ever been to a fucking gym. And, by the way, if somebody does make fun of you, 
that person is just an asshole. And I can be an asshole, by the way. That person is just a fucking asshole. And if you let it impact you, you know what they said about you is true. It, it can only fucking hurt you if you will let it, if you believe it is true. I mean, that is the fucking reality. It can only hurt you if you believe it's true. And she believes it's true. When they call you fat and disgusting, you think you're fat and disgusting, so therefore it fucking hurts you. I've had people like, you look disgusting and shit like that. I'm like, fuck, I'm fucking kind of digging how I look right now. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I don't know the fuck you're looking at. Like, I don't, who fucking cares? Because I don't think it's true, right? And people can have their own fucking opinion about how I look, how other people look. I don't give a fuck. That's their fucking opinion. When you are confident in yourself and you and it doesn't impact you, you know what doesn't impact you? Their words. The fucking who cares? But this person's bitching about, oh my God, people call me fat at the gym. Shut the fuck up and go to the fucking gym. Yeah. And they videotape us. You get me. They get they videotape everybody. Made fun of at the gym. People I don't see that. I don't. I don't see people be, being made fun of at the gym. I see a lot, but first of all, what gym are you going to? You're trying to tell me that a fat person gets made fun of at Planet Fitness. Really? At Crunch Fitness? Really? At fucking like uh, LA Fitness? Really? You're trying to tell me that fat people get made fun of at these gyms? Now, if you go to like the fucking uh, a clang and bang fucking gym, I mean, they're, it's their hard fucking core. They make fun of every fucking body. But let, let me fucking like seriously. Let's go to a Planet Fitness and see you get and see a, a fit person make fun of a fat person. Are you really fucking serious? Like this is just made up excuses. This is just fucking weakness and excuses. That's all this fucking is. People stare at you. It's like, isn't this exact? People stare at me everywhere I fucking go. All right, I look like a fucking hitman. People stare at me everywhere I fucking go. I don't fucking care. Exactly where you want me to be. Yeah. So people and just tell you like, just get out there and. Do some exercise. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's talk. Or just stop fucking eating four pizzas a day. Talk about it. Let's talk yeah. about that. Please. Because even just going for a walk outside, okay? So it's it's free. So you don't have to worry about, you know, paying for a gym. Yeah. Let's imagine that I'm going to give you 100 pounds of weight. And I'm going to yeah. give it to you to carry. Go for a walk. That's so hard. It's fucking hard. Hard. People... There, she's actually complaining about having to move after she made herself fucking fat. No shit. She, so imagine being fat and having to walk. What the fuck? I, I, first of all, I don't need to imagine that. Been fat. It sucked. It, I'm, I'm letting you know it sucked. You know why it sucked? Because I did it to myself. You know why it sucked for you, young lady? Because you fucking ate yourself fat. I mean, I mean it's I, like you're now going to complain about physical activity while being fat like uh, this is just weakness just fucking weakness fucking just permeating from this fucking woman people yeah. just don't get it it's like i'm carrying extra weight yes you are and you should fucking get that shit the fuck off of you because while it's burdening you and you're now complaining about how much it's burdening you it definitely burdens society, and I don't want to see you die young because you are going to die young if you stay this fucking rotund. But I don't want to see you die young, but I also don't want to have to fucking see the economy get closed down again to protect fat-ass people like you. And I definitely don't want to see you fucking burden our fucking healthcare system that it should be used for people that have, like, kids with cancer and fucking elderly people that can't avoid being elderly and shit like that. Like... People like her burden our fucking healthcare system when they should be in their fucking prime and not even needing, not needing but maybe a yearly fucking checkup. That's the fucking reality. And now she is going to fucking bitch about walking while fat. It is not just like, go do it. It yeah. is fucking hard. It is heavy. Yeah. And yes, it is, which is why you should fucking do it. There are people on the street who are going to most probably mock me at some point of this walk. And then, like, first of all, put your headphones on and just fucking walk. Who gives a fuck? I mean, so you're going to allow people saying words to you to fucking let you eat yourself to death. That's weakness. That's fucking insane weakness. It, like, in, this is an actual real fucking podcast. That is insane fucking weakness. 
I'm going to have my internalized ableism, my internalized fat phobia. Yeah. I'm going to hear these, these words. You mean reality, my internalized fat phobia. You mean you know it's true, right? Like, because you just admitted that you know you've encumbered yourself. You have, you, your physical size has encumbered you. You know this. Like, like you know it. Like, that's not internalized fat phobia. That's reality fucking screaming at you. Like, we are fat as fuck. Lose some of this shit because this walking shit fucking hurts. That's not internalized fat phobia. That is your common fucking sense pleading with you. That is your, your that is your, uh, uh, that is your internalized fucking, uh, like, uh, survival instinct trying to say, we can't continue to do this. That is your internalized reality button saying, they're right, we're fat as fuck, we should fucking lose this fucking weight. Look what we've done to ourselves. That's why this is not something, like, you're both saying you should be celebrated, a fucking clip ago, you should be celebrated, and then you're now saying how hard it is to walk for you because that shit's heavy and you're encumbered. This is the fucking state of society? These young people act like this? What the fuck? These horrific memories are going to come into my head. It is going to be a horrible experience for me. Yeah. Because so walking is going to be a horrible experience with her because she might, might run into somebody else that she would then listen to every word they fucking say and pay attention to every word they say and then have it somehow negatively affect her fucking fifis. Fuck your feelings. Lose fucking weight. Fuck your feelings. Holy shit, people. Oh my God. Because I am like, I'm, I'm replaying things of judgment. Like you, you can't even go this far. Like you're only going 10 minutes. Like you yeah. suck. Like you can, you do suck. You do suck. If you, if you, if, if like for real, if you can only walk 10 minutes at a fucking time, you suck. You know what you should do? Walk more. So you don't suck as much. You should lose some fucking weight. So you don't suck as much. You know who else sucked for real? You know who else sucked? This fat motherfucker, he fucking sucked. He could squat almost 600 pounds, fucking sucked. Had a hard time going up a flight of fucking stairs. This motherfucker had a hard time walking around the mall with his wife and son. He sucked. I fucking hate him. I fucking did something about it. That will never fucking happen again, ever. Fucking ever. I started putting my own physical fucking well-being at risk because of being fat. That will never fucking happen again. Ever, ever. I can't stand that motherfucker. Can't stand who that person. Fucking can't stand him. So you know what I did? I killed that bitch. For real. I fucking killed him and put him in a double wide fucking casket. Deep way back in the fucking back of my brain. And I fight to fucking keep that lid closed every fucking day. Cause he sucked. And lady, you fucking suck too. Barely walk. You're out of breath. Like you're out of shape. It stopped. Yes us from doing yeah. what we need to do to keep well why <laughs> if, if, if you would do it more you wouldn't have those things happen why let other people's words stop you from doing fucking shit that's weakness that is weakness that makes you fucking weak that means you are a weak human being that's weakness like why should we coddle you when you're already weak as fuck why should we fucking prop you up when you're already so fucking weak you can't stand on your own two fucking feet? Why should we protect your fucking feelings when they're already so fucking pathetic that it's causing you to be like this? You need to toughen up. You need to fucking change. You need to lose the weight. You need to get healthier. You need to stop burdening society. You need to do some shit. Society doesn't need to fucking change so you can feel good about doing this to yourself because you have fucked yourself very fucking hard by face fucking yourself with cake almost every day likely you have fucked yourself very fucking hard and you need to unfuck yourself and you can do that by unfattening yourself pathetic jesus to get some movement in on the on the other hand but you just said movement is hard your movement's hard if you were a, th a thin person carrying a hundred pounds yeah, on your yeah. back people you know like, how many people would be like yeah, wow people you're are like amazing. let's turn it into a tv TV show. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they would. Oh, I think you're, like you know how some people yeah. do their workouts with those like body yeah, harnesses, yeah, yeah. right? Like with all those yeah. weights. Everyone's yeah. like, they're so hardcore. Yeah. I'm hardcore every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Oh my God. I'm hardcore every day. Holy shit. All right, we'll do some Q&A. These fucking people are pathetic. Pathetic. So much fucking weakness. I can't even stand it. Uh, Alan is a kick in the ass. We didn't ask for it, but the one we needed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I've been going to the gym. Oop. I've been going to the gym since I was 382 pounds, and I've never been made fun of. If anything, I've been encouraged. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Shirley. And good fucking job. Stay the fuck at it. Hell fucking yeah. Great goddamn job, Shirley. No shit. Keep at it. Yeah. I, I, so, by the way, the, the whole, like, they, they wear a 100-pound pack and they would be celebrated because they're doing an incredible physical feat. Right? So, you having 100 extra pounds on you is not an incredible physical feat. They're carrying 100 pounds more than what they weigh. You have fucking gluttoned yourself to, in fact, weigh that much. That's fucking sadness. It really is. Whining equals hardcore. Exactly. These people are suck at fucking crazy. So listen, guys, I will do some quick Q&A. If you asked a question up above, let me know. Uh, just ask it again. But I do have to hop off early. I've got client consultations here starting in about 13 minutes. So and then tomorrow I'll be live same time, one o'clock. I, 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 I blocked it off for us. And then I have a bunch of videos I'm making. Uh, I'm making tomorrow also. Um very excited. I've got, you know, we, we've got the videos for Alchemy coming. I'm very fucking pleased. Any word on the, on product three heart supplement? Mark is checking about it right now. That one's through MTS nutrition. So he's checking about it. He's checking about it this week to see if, uh, how the sourcing for our ingredients is going. Uh, a full aluminum scuba tank with 3000 PSI is 38 pounds, not 35 uh, pounds. My bad. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. On our joints, those, yep, exactly. I mean, it's just bad for you. Do people ever say uh, you weren't that fat because of the muscle? Yes, all the time. Doesn't matter. I was super fucking fat. Um, and, and to be real, I've lo I, I lost about 20 pounds of lean mass and about tw and about 80 pounds of fat uh, in, the whole, in the whole shift uh, from leaving that fat ass fucker behind. I have to go. I uh, got to get my resistance training in. Good for you. Have a great day. Uh, what is your stance on using flavored protein powders to make various foods? I, mean, I, I have nothing against it occasionally. Like I, I view protein powders, I, I view food for pleasure. Like I, I have it make up like less than 10% of my total daily caloric intake and it's all good. I mean, I put a little protein powder on top of uh, on top of some frozen berries a couple of nights of the week, you know. I was in labor. Uh, I was in labor with a mask on in 2020. I I, uh, I don't want to hear about their weakness. No shit. Alan, as somebody with arthritis in my right knee and some sciatica on my right side, uh, should I continue doing workouts 45 minutes a day, or should I dial it down some? It depends on you. It depends on the workout. There's so many fucking things involved with that. I can't possibly answer yes or no. I mean, there's so many fucking things that could possibly be involved in that. Right. Like and I, I would be I would be like almost irresponsible uh, to fucking uh, to say yes or no. Um, it depends on, on the pain you're in, depends on everything like that. Uh, oftentimes, uh, if you would lower down your physical activity, it might actually exacerbate the pain and make it worse because the blood flow in the joints is what's helping with uh, with the healing and stuff like that. You know, so I, it's too hard for me to answer. I wish I could. but It's too hard for me to answer. Uh, I know a guy that carries 100 pounds while running one mile on, under nine minutes. That's fucking crazy right there. Tips for drinking water during the day. Please remember morning and evening. I remember morning and evening, but I don't. I, I think during the day I could do better. Set an alarm. Um, uh, set an alarm every 90 minutes. You know, uh, that's that's what I normally do. Uh, I, I've, I've gotten pretty good about it, so I don't I don't have the, actually have the alarm going off. But we have a lot of our clients do that. We have a, we actually uh, have some habit things on our app too that help people do that. Uh, Alan, I'm a, I'm plant based. Are you against tofu? I'm not against tofu, but it is a highly processed food item. Um, I'm I'm more against tofu because I think it's gross. Uh, but I'm not against it for like if you're plant based and you like it, I'm not against it. But I think it's gross. I, I've never I've never really liked it. So, 
Uh, I was able to try to convince my coworker to try Nomo. She was on Wegovy and was having bad side effects. So also interested in the new product coming out next week. Excited to see how she does. That's outstanding. Uh, thank you for the support. And thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Uh, thoughts on Tomcat Alley? I have no idea who that is. I've, I have no idea. I've never even, I don't think I've ever heard that name before. How many grams of protein do you need a day? Depends on the person. Uh, I try to get at least a gram per pound of my body mass. Uh, just because I like to stay in a very protein, uh, nitrogen positive state to help build muscle if I can, uh, or at least avoid sarcopenia, uh, which is what most elderly like men uh, should be doing. I'm not elderly, but I just called myself elderly. I don't know why. But um, I go for a gram per pound of body mass. Uh, let's see. I hope you're doing much better. I agree with being active totally. I am. Oh, I'm talking to that person. Uh, how would you suggest getting your breathing uh, better during activity? I mean, I do breathing exercises, and, uh, like even when I'm not doing like, actual physical activity, like deep breath exercises and stuff like that. But honestly, the more uh, the more you do the activity, uh, the better the better your cardiovascular rep, uh, cardiovascular efficiency will get. And I also try to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth whenever possible. Thank you very much, by the way. I appreciate it. Uh, sciatica is much improved with stretching and PT. I agree. Yoga, yoga is the way to go for sciatica, if you ask me. Any opinions on Joey Swole? I know he is, but I don't watch his content. So I have no opinion. I mean, I, it's weird because, like, I, 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 I just I don't watch I, – I, I, I don't watch – I watch Mark. I still watch Jeff occasionally. I don't watch, I don't watch every Jeff video because I know how to do bicep curls. Uh, no offense, Jeff, but damn. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, but I watch Mark, he's a, he's a business partner of mine. Um, and then I really just, I watch a lot of like fucking survival shows and fucking, uh, cook. I watch cooking survival, uh, and I do research. So I don't really watch other, I don't watch other, I definitely don't watch other fitness YouTubers. So, and Joyce, I, I don't know if Joyce Swole did or not, but if they, if they're a fitness, if they're a fitness person and they weren't advocating for not wearing a mask, for not locking down, for being physically active, for not taking experimental therapy if you're healthy. Um, if they weren't advocating for that, I got no drive to watch them either. So, uh, Alan, uh, it's a it's a plant it's a it's a plant supplement. I don't know. I have I have no idea. I have no idea. Alan, um, have you thought about making a video on some of the best workout music to get pumped to? Uh, as with my avatar, no easy way. Uh, I not really. No. Like, because music is such a subject, subjective thing. Like on my playlist today, me and uh, me and the people that worked out with me worked out to everything from Ryan Up Church and Moxon Creek back to Queen and uh, uh, some like uh, some uh, POD and stuff like that. Like I, I listen to everything, so I really haven't. I don't. I, I don't think my like they're my music tastes. I don't think that like I sh that should influence anybody else's music taste. You know. Uh, do you, do you have a tried and true sleep routine? I do. I try to get the temperature in the, in the house a little cooler. Um, make sure my pillows are nice and fluffed up. If I'm having a hard time sleeping, I'll take, a um, I'll take a, uh, a, a contrast shower, three minutes hot, three minutes cold, two minutes hot, two minutes cold, one minute hot, one minute cold, step out while it's cold, dry off, uh, get into the, the covers. And as it's like fucking as I warm up, as the covers warm me up, it relaxes me and helps me fall asleep. Uh, do you watch Chopped? I probably watch every episode of Chopped ever made. Uh, absolutely. We watch a lot of the the, the baking series uh, shows too, even though we don't do much baking. But, um, let's see. You're the only fitness person I, I watch on TV. I'm not even, like I'm. Here's another thing too. I'm not a really a fitness person anymore. I'm more of a health person, if you ask me, because um, I'm not into the like. If, if you can join the app and join my workouts and I'm obviously an athletic guy, I'm not going to fucking like, pretend I'm not, you know what I mean? But, um, I, I'm more about health and, and especially public health for people. Um, I'm not really a fitness guy. Like, you know, I, I, I know it sounds like I, I almost want to like have a classification a little different just because I fucking can't stand most of the fitness people anymore. Joey was a gym positive pusher. I know who he is. I just don't watch his shit. So. Uh, Alan, how does glorifying or uh, celebrating fatness give these people on, on the podcast an incentive to get fit? Uh, that's what I'm saying. The coddling is what makes people fat. It really is. 
Are you going to do a follow-up of what's going on with Lizzo? Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I'm an inspiration for your channel. Thank you very much. Uh, only overweight people need protection is because uh, is kids. I agree with that, too. Uh, I would I would agree with that. But listen, guys, I do need to get running because I have uh, I have a consultation in four minutes and I want to uh, run to the bathroom, get a drink, stuff like that. So I hope all of you have had a great day. I'll be releasing some videos tomorrow at Plus Going Live tomorrow. We'll probably be doing a recap of Lizzo and we'll go from there. Goddamn.